major league hit for Jose Altuve. That's the kind of swing that George Springer will supply. He might beat this out. Throw to first. That's his first major league hit. An infield hit for George Springer. If you missed it earlier, he is now a part of the ball club. And so a lot of excitement following the team. And that's how it all started today. I'll tell you what, if you missed it, you don't have Twitter, you don't have a computer, you've been stuck in a hole for a while because Carlos Correa is on the scene. He's first in the big leagues. So he now has two hits, an RBI, a stolen base, and he has just hammered one to left field. High and deep. Watch this one. See ya. Carlos Correa, his first major league home run. And he hit a bomb. Four to two White Sox on top. Taken over this game. 21 years old. And now sip to the belt, end of the plate. Breaking ball, ground ball up the middle. Correa, he misplayed it. The ball goes into center field. Two run score, and this game is tied. And Carlos Correa, in the blink of an eye, goes from hero to goat. A report that shows what they do. How are they continuing to miss those pitches? On the hands, Looper, that's going to be it. There's the base hit for Alex Bregman, first in the big leagues, as he snaps the 0 for 18. Congratulations, Alex Bregman, the Astros runners at first and third. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Wanted to officially announce the acquisition of Justin Verlander to the Houston Astros. This is a major transaction, one of the largest transactions in our club history. We're very excited about it. We've done a lot of work since Jim Crane bought the team in 2011 to put this organization in a position to potentially bring the first championship to the city of Houston. Hello Houston, it's good to be home. I want to start out by thanking all of you for being here today. A uh, very special day for us to start the rebuild process of our great city. To the first responders, uh, those that are here, that aren't here, we can't say thank you enough. On behalf of the players, the coaches, uh, our organization, uh, we want to thank everyone in the city of Houston that's doing something good for somebody else. We're all very fortunate uh, to, to survive this hurricane. For those that were, our thoughts and prayers are with your families. Now we wear this patch on our jersey the rest of the year to represent you. So stay strong, be strong, and we appreciate every one of you. Go Strohs. He 
capitalizes on that confidence and evens the issue at three in the eighth. Three, two. Reddick bounces one in the left for a base hit. Throw to third, not in time, and Josh Reddick has given Houston a 4-3 lead. With a two-out, two-strike base hit to left. Ball with another 3-2. That's hard hit the second. The Astros are moving on to the American League Championship Series. Justin Verlander, 5-0 in his career here in this stadium. Chase Taylor, strikeout number nine. Ten strikeouts for Verlander, two out here in the seventh. Houston. 1-1 to Bregman, just 23 years old, and that's down toward the corner. Puig on the move, off his glove, and out of play. Bregman will end up at second base, hoping that starts a big rally here in the eighth. That's up the middle, a run scores on a base hit by Correa, who looks to his dugout as he celebrates going down the line. It's a one-run game. Last inning, Gonzalez hits one in the air into left center field. Back at the wall, it is gone! Tie game in the ninth, Marwin Gonzalez. And it's 3-3 as Gonzalez has his first home run of this postseason. Tenth inning, Altuve into left center field. Back at the wall, it is gone! Jose Altuve. 
has put Houston on top. 4-3 here in the 10th. Two, and now the Astros are ahead. Here's one into left center field off the bat of Correa. Altuve and Correa go back to back. And it's 5-3 here in the 10th inning with Houston on top. Els was watching with the rest of us. Puig hits one a ton to left. It's a one-run game. Pace hit right field. Here comes Forsythe. Throw by Reddick. Is not in time. Tie game. To Springer. That's into right center field. Well hit. Won't be caught. It is gone. George Springer goes deep, and the Astros are back on top by two. What an approach. Not only did he get him over, he got him in. And that at bat right there, and this night for Springer is exactly what Houston needed. The top of the lineup had done nothing. Stayed on that baseball as good as you. Struck him out, and the Astros win it 7-6. to six. A final in 11 innings in a game that lasted over four hours. That is smoked. It is gone. one nothing Houston. Gonzalez request time. The one two. High fly ball to left center. Back is Taylor on the move. Can't get it. Off the wall. Reddick coming to the plate. No throw. Two nothing Houston. Early grind. Now the 2-2. That is into right center field for a hit. Gaddis coming to the plate. Gonzalez going to third. Throw by Puig is late. 3-0 Astros. First and third, one out. That's into center. It is caught. Tagging coming to the plate. Gonzalez throw too late. 4-0 Astros. for the Dodgers chopped left side Watson wild throw gets away over to third is Reddick they're going to bring him home throw by Puig late it's five to one Another 3-2 and a high fly ball. Deep left center field. At the wall. Tie game. Unbelievable. Altuve. 
pitch to Springer, and we're tied again. the pitcher of record for the Dodgers. Here's one into right. Back at the wall. It is another home run. McCann. And the three-run lead is back. Two on, two out. Tenth inning. That's in the air to left. Here comes Fisher. Throw by Ethier. Astros win. great Reggie Jackson who's been here during this World Series did it in 77 that is down the line and fair extra base hit for Springer to start the night into second with a double and a good start for the Astros to the right side Darvish has to get over tough play wild throw and into the dugout Astros take the lead in to score is Springer, and in a blink, Houston on top, one to nothing. Comes a 2-1 pitch now. To the right side. Bellinger thought about it. A run scores. Bregman almost did a header. And it's 2-0 Houston here in the first. Hard hit right at Altuve. Dodgers load them up and leave them loaded. And after one. That is a shot into right center field. Puig will go get it off the wall. McCann will go first to third. And Darvish gives up his second double of the night. The play is to first as McCann scores. An RBI for Lance McCullers Jr. He's made it 3-0 Houston. 3-2 to Springer. Shot into left center field. Back at the wall. It's gone. Springer stays hot and it's 5 nothing Houston here in the second left side what a play by Bregman he's done it all postseason here's a 2-2 little pop up Guriel to his right one out right got him looking third strike out of the night for Bellinger game his dad Clay played for the Yankees here's a grounder to short Correa takes care of Puig, and that sends us through seven earlier after the Springer home run. Way back in the second. Celebrating. 0-2. Struck him out. A foul tip, and it was hung on to by McCann. The Dodgers have stranded ten men on base tonight. Here's a fly ball into right. Springer over to grab it. Two down of this World Series he sure did and I'm telling you it's the reason they're in this position here's one into right center field maybe to his left how about Charlie Morton here's the 0 2 
Ridley strikes out on a pitch down and in one out in the ninth picking up big outs again here tonight Liriano got an out Davinsky. But since then it's Charlie Morton. It is 2 2 pitch. Broken bat Altuve comes to get it. Two out. What's interesting to me Brian McCann a perennial all star in the National League went over to the Yankees was going to be part of the Yankees success. Traded over here because of the Sanchez success. Here's a ground ball right side could do it. The Houston Astros are world champions for the first time in franchise history.